Good morning. Welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Kate Loeb, and I'm a part of the team ministry here at Mainland Baptist Church. And the title for today's devotional is To Be an Encourager. And the scripture can be found in 2 Timothy 1, 16 through 18. The Lord give mercy unto the house of Onesiphorus, for he oft refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chain. But when he was in Rome, he sought me out very diligently and found me. The Lord grant unto him that he may find mercy of the Lord in that day, and in how many things he ministered unto me at Ephesus. Thou knowest very well. One of the overlooked needs that people have is to be encouraged. It is often easy, easier for us to see and identify physical needs than emotional ones. Yet in truth, many people are discouraged as they face the challenges and pressures of life. Hearing a kind word of hope from someone else can make all the difference. William Arthur Ward said, flatter me and I may not believe you. Criticize me and I may not like you. Ignore me and I may not forgive you. Encourage me and I will not forget you. In the book of Ecclesiastes, King Solomon described the importance of having an encourager this way. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow, but woe to him that is alone when he falleth for he hath not another to help him up, Ecclesiastes 4.10. From creation, we were designed with a need for fellowship and companionship. Our world may worship the myth of the rugged individual who needs help from no one, but that is not God's plan. He means for his children to use their words to build and strengthen each other. The person who sets out to be an encourager will never find a shortage of people to help. Even simple words spoken sincerely may make all the difference and give someone who is struggling the strength to go on. We call it encouragement, which literally means to give courage to someone who needs it. Such words are beyond value to the hurting heart that receives them. And today's growth principle is take advantage of each opportunity today to encourage someone who may be hurting. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for this um, devotional that we got to read today, Lord. I pray that you would just open the hearts of the people who are listening, Lord, and that they would be able to grow and get something from this devotional, Lord. I pray that you would bless all of our weeks, and in Jesus' name I pray, amen.